Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Meets Road Shop. I'm Jason. As you can see behind me, I got a new vehicle. So I picked up a 1979 Chevrolet C10 two-wheel drive standard cab short bed. It's got the uh, 305 Turbo 350 transmission in it. Uh, it's an AC car. Um, it's pretty well optioned. It is a Silverado, as you can see. Um, so it's a uh, pretty well optioned truck. But I uh, picked this up just to do a little bit of a uh, uh, upgrades on it, you know, repair, stuff like that, clean it up, uh, keep it for a little bit, and then I'll probably uh, send it on down the road. But I uh, figured I'd bring you along for this venture just to show you a little bit about, uh, you know, what to look at for an old truck, you know, common places that you're going to need to fix. And we may do a few upgrades on this. I may do a polyurethane bushing set up front, possibly uh, cut a coil off the front and uh, do some uh, shackles in the back to lower it down a little bit. Um, but uh, tell me uh, down in the comments what you want to see, or I guess what you don't want to see, whichever. No, I'm not doing an LS swap on this truck. I'm going to try and keep it as stock as possible. Um, it needs some repairs. It does run and drive. Um, but it uh, needs some rust repair on there. It's got the standard rust. You'll see uh, dog legs, uh, rocker panels, stuff like that. But I uh, need to fix the door panels. Um, the lock cylinder is blown out on the driver's door. Fix a few other odds and ends. Tail lights needs new lenses. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we'll get the camera off the stand and we'll give you a quick walk around the truck. All right, here's the truck here. As you can see, it, uh, it has been sitting for a little bit of time. But I uh, picked this up from a buddy of mine, EC. Thank you for the purchase on this. Gave me a good deal on it. Uh, but you can see it's got a broken bezel here on the light. You know, it's got a bunch of lichens and stuff here on the hood. Like I said, it's been sitting for a few months. Um, it's pretty straight, I guess, kind of. Um, you know, it's got some dents and dings, you know, along the uh, um, body there. You can see it's got the rot in the 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 dog leg there on these things which is pretty common uh common you can see the uh lock cylinders blown out needs uh door hinges on there so we'll be doing some uh hinge pin upgrades you know the interior is pretty beat up needs new carpet you see a standard you know c10 where these uh door panels break and shred and come apart from being in the sun standard you know cracked dash but uh does have the am radio in it still works believe it or not but uh you know, power steering, power brakes, manual windows, manual locks, seats a little bit beat up, headliners kind of destroyed, but uh, you know, I didn't even look behind it. Let's see, what's uh, what's behind it? Tell me your secrets. Here we go. Ooh, uh, got a, uh, whatchamacallit there, sun visor. Got some other stuff back there, nothing exciting. But uh, toolbox in the back, that's probably gonna be coming off. Uh, as well as these rails but uh you know bed's got a few uh dents in there a couple of whammies needs new tires but uh like i said it's a little beat up tailgate's actually not too bad although uh, uh the mounting cup on the right side here is a little bit beat up but you know we'll just clean it up we're gonna pressure wash it here in a second but you know needs tail light lenses as i said well, here's the passenger side she's pretty pretty nasty got some rot back there and the, behind the wheels in the back which is normal but a little bit starting there in the dog legs so well, let's go to the old uh, jewelry box as they call it all this ain't really much of a jewel well, let's see what we got under here one thing i do want to add is if you look at this hood there's no bends in it i know it's straight hard to believe but look at that no bends where they always bend at and fold in half from people not lubing their hinges or knowing how to shut them. You don't pull down on these hoods, you push them in. So, but there you go, there's the old 305 under there. Um, she has had some maintenance on it. I mean, it looks like somebody's changed a radiator hose. It looks like it's got newer plugs in it. Um, it does have a chrome timing cover. Look at that, guys. Nice chrome timing cover there. That chrome will get you home. So, or whatever, whatever they say about chrome. I don't like it, but but yes, she's uh, she's pretty clean. Doesn't look like she's leaking too much oil. So we'll probably change the fuel pump, maybe the plug wires on this cap coil rotor. Um, does need a uh, battery tray. This one's been uh, lightened on. So, but that's it. That's where we're at. So, all right. Well, that's the quick walk around on this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get everything uh, soaked down. I'll tell you what I do is I take a pump sprayer and I'll put some of that uh, Dollar Tree Dollar whatever it is. Um, uh, LA's totally awesome 
yes, totally awesome degreaser and a pump sprayer. Put some other anti stuff in there that hopefully will kill all this lichens and moss and everything that's on this thing. But we're going to soak the truck down with that. Although it's not a dollar anymore, it's still good stuff. It's well worth it. Uh, but I'll mix that up with some pine saw or something else. Um, under the engine bay, I, I use uh, uh, oven cleaner. I'll go again to Dollar Tree and get those dollar cans of oven cleaner. That seems to work pretty good on everything. So I'll spray all that down, let it sit, hit it with a pressure washer. Be careful with your electronics, cover up your carburetor. You don't want a bunch of water going down the throat of your carb. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing pressure washed up. pressure washed up she's all cleaned up um, found a little bit of rust spots uh, that we're gonna have to fix but uh, she's cleaned up for now 
next we'll go ahead uh, not this video but next video we'll probably go ahead and change out the lock cylinders got some wiring issues she only starts uh, when she's in the run position um, she just turns over and start so there's a wiring issue or ignition switch or something but uh and then the gauges don't work so we're going to do some troubleshooting there but we'll change out the tail light lenses we've got fan belts to change do an oil change on it just some other maintenance stuff but uh, appreciate you checking us out and uh keep an eye out we'll be doing a lot of videos on this coming up uh, like i said we'll probably do a little bit of a lowering kit um, on it uh, and then uh, some other stuff. You just tell us uh, what you want to see. Anyway, I appreciate you checking out the video. Have a good day. It's starting to rain here in Atlanta, so I'm going to pack everything up and head on inside. But again, thank you. Have a good day. And remember, keep your head up and your stick on the ice.